Hey, what's up guys? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In Illustrator, there's a little bit of a trick where you can create a perfect circle out of a stroke point instead of just a fill size. I'm going to show you how to do that and why it might be useful to you. Okay, so here we are in Illustrator and the first thing I need to do is check out my fill and stroke. The first thing I'm going to do here is get rid of the fill. So I'm just going to click on that and the color menu might pop open if it doesn't go up to window down to color and you can just click the slash, the red slash for that fill and it's going to get rid of the fill. Now I'm going to switch back to the stroke, make sure that is a black and it is all good. We're good to go. All right, so we need to create a line segment. So grab the line segment tool. It's the slash from the upper left down to the lower right on your keyboard. I'm going to create a line segment holding shift. It's just going to create a line right out there. And let's beef up the stroke a little bit. Find your stroke panel. 30 points will work for this. Next thing I'm going to do is actually click on the stroke panel to pop that out or uh, go down to window, down to stroke. That's command F10. Mine popped up over on another screen, but here we go. All right, so we got lots of stroke options and you may not see them all, so you can uh, click this show options hamburger menu here. Uh, we want the cap to be a round cap, so we're gonna switch that to a round cap. That's all we really need to do in here. I can exit out of that panel. Go to my direct selection tool, select one of the points, and drag this anchor point on top of the other point. So they got two anchor points on top of themselves with the rounded end caps, now we have a perfect circle. Why is this kind of interesting, important, useful? Well, when you're working on an illustration and you've got other line segments out there, right? And you want to match up the size of your lines to like a perfect circle, instead of creating a circle with a fill on it, a little ellipse, and he's got a fill and stroke, now we'll get rid of the stroke. Instead of trying to guesstimate like how large this circle needs to be to sort of match that up, now you've got this other circle that's based on a point size and I can actually scale that up and down with all of my artwork and it remains the exact same width as the rest of the line work. So that's where it couldn't be useful. Uh, it's also a really quick way to create a circle. Um, you can then expand that and it becomes its own shape if you want it to be. Uh, there's probably other uses for it. Maybe you guys might find it useful. I just thought I'd teach you this little trick if you liked this video. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Check out the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.